Believe it or not, the first computers weren't machines at all. They were people. In the 1800s, Ada Lovelace worked with Charles Baggage analytical engine and wrote the first algorithm ever intended for a machine. She even imagined computers doing more than math, creating art, for example. Fast forward a century, in the 1940s during World War II, six women became the first programmers of the ENIAC, one of the earliest electronic computers. They didn't have keyboards, they literally wired and rewired machines to make it calculate. Around the same time, Grace Hopper was creating the first compiler, a translator that allowed humans to write code in English-like commands instead of pure numbers. Before this, programmers had to speak machine directly by entering raw numbers or very cryptic codes. With a compiler, they could finally write something closer to plain sentences and let the computer do the hard work of translation. The term debugging already existed, but Grace pulling a mod from a malfunctioning computer was the first actual case of a physical bug. That little fella was creating errors in the calculations. By the 1960s, NASA relied on women like Katherine Johnson, Dorothy Vaughan and Mary Jackson, calculating orbital trajectories by hand, the human computers who made the Mercury and Apollo missions possible, allegedly. American astronomer John Glenn personally asked Katherine Johnson to double-check the electronic computer's math before trusting it with his life. From Ada Lovelace to NASA's human computers, we see a clear path. Computing evolved from human brains to electronic brains.